Aquarius, welcome. This is your heart spread reading, January 2022. Love, romance, and relationship reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And here, using the heart spread, we're looking at you, represented by this Ace of Wands here, and the one that's on your mind. So, um, that's where I like to start, and I'd like to see this as the energy kind of where we are in and around love and relationships within ourselves, you and them. So, you know, you'd be dealing with likely a Venus person here, Taurus or Libra uh, energy, uh, someone that is um, creative, uh, successful, um, um, probably a very charming person, very strong person man or woman um possibly very beautiful very attractive you know the kind of person uh with the empress uh it, it, plus they're abundant i mean you know there's it could be like a planet and they have uh orbs uh circling around them like uh in our solar system you know um, and they could just have that kind of energy about them. It's kind of uh, magnetic. Um, and with Ace of Wands, I have to think here, Aquarius. Uh, now, the bottom of the deck, too, that's the um, Page of Wands. And I think this is your energy. Um, so you may be, Aquarius, uh, somewhat younger than them in some fashion. Uh, um, in some way, you kind of look up to them. Um, but this is you passionately asserting yourself in love. Um, you were likely the one that initiated this, um, this kind of thing. And now we show your energy, how you're feeling, reacting to them. I know you may already know that, but it helps me get a feeling for what's going on in the dynamics, which is amazing. I mean, the outcome is the sun and the advice for both of you is the star. It's like, thank you, Spirit, by the way. It's a very clear reading, and it's, uh, um, you know, very positive. Finally, it's been a rough week, guys. You know, I do all the signs, and, you know, we only got Pisces left. So thank you, Spirit. We finally <laughs> found a, a good one. Uh, but with the Knight of Wands, that's a perfect match. That's like uh, you say to them, you know, hey, you know, can I buy you a drink? And they're like, are you going to marry me? <laughs> buy me a drink, you know, you're going to come home with me. That's like they're meeting that your energy uh, of passion uh, very strongly. And look, it's moving right into the reading here. So um, this is an empress. It's like you, you, I just got the feeling like it's almost like this is like if it's fishing, it's like you've got yourself a, caught yourself a whopper, you know. You'd be telling your friends, you should meet my new boyfriend, girlfriend. She is, he is amazing. Um, and uh, you would likely be like very strongly sexual energy. You know, the Eight of Cups here is your energy towards them. This is advice from Spirit for the how best to interact with them in the relationship, and what it can be advice about kind of what the relationship is for. Like, see, it's always karmic, it's always a lesson. Here's what we're digging for. Um, so I believe this is about you're leaving behind here you're kind of doing this yourself you're ready like this bust down energy this ace of wands like maybe you know you've been into covid in the house or whatever and now you're not you're out and this is leaving behind anything that you're just not interested in that doesn't blow your skirt up anything you're not emotionally drawn to uh, you're leaving it behind and you're replacing it here with happiness in if there's a process emotionally with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups of really, maybe it, as an astrologer, I'm positive to be in the transits energy. It's so funny how that works. And But it would be like some weight lifted off your shoulder really emotionally, not just some bullshit like just, it's not really bullshit. I guess that's how you start by saying, you know, I'm not emotionally attached to my negative outcomes anymore. But actually just it drops out, drops down, and you begin to feel lighter and freer and happier, and your emotions become more about like, oh my God, yes, I want to do that. Oh my gosh, let's go there. Oh yes. And forward thinking. Three is very uh, 
uh, involved and engaging and, you know, it's Gemini and communication. Um, really, really good energy for you. And I see this kind of like you sort of uh, doing this yourself, this spark. Some, uh, it's probably how this went down, some small initial thing just ignited a fire, you know, really in both of you. Now, it's interesting that their advice here is the nine of pentacles because, you know, the nine of pentacles kind of is the empress, I don't know, way junior empress. It's, it's this energy of being self-contained and um, um, able to take care of yourself. And, uh, and as advice from spirit, I just see, I think they're going to be the more stable one in the relationship. Um, um, like if there's, if you get in, it looks like you're going to get involved here. Uh, you would probably be the one moving into their home. Um, and um, to, but the Nine of Pentacles here for them is terms of advice. I see this a lot lately. It's kind of do what you're doing. Um, and it's coming under the Knight of Wands. So it's like, okay, continue the passion. Wands are actions. Wands are definitely with the, uh, uh, knights are action too I'm saying so um, this is someone that's gonna um, you would kind of ignite it but then they would come back with even more see and I think you're fine it's like uh, but there's some kind of relationship where you're gonna be moving towards them you're gonna uh, join them um, they'll take the lead um, but you're gonna definitely be happy about it that's probably why you're leaving behind all these negative emotions and replacing it just with like celebrations this, again this is more that energy like practically could be you saying i can't believe my good luck i can't believe i'm so lucky uh you know in terms of love and romance and relationships it's like this is the feeling like uh, the bob marley song you know you make me feel like a sweepstakes winner and you're gonna feel like a sweepstakes winner now this is the advice for the relationship as a whole. The number seven card in the heart spread. And I always say the most important card in this little spread. Um, and it's your card. I mean, it's absolutely amazing here. Um, and it, it's a real confirmation coming between this nine of pentacles and the three of cups. I mean, this is also what I see is, is they have a lot. They have a nice home. This would be literal here. Really, it's got to be. Nine of Pentacles, relatively speaking to you. Uh, and it's you're going to share in this. It's like uh, this is, you can look at this as you manifested this. This is uh, your karma. This is meant to be. I mean, absolutely meant to be. This is your card. So this relationship is for you. You know, it's um, like a gift, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just sometimes, you know, karma's not always bad. Sometimes it drops you uh, drops you something uh, really uh, sweet, you know? And that's what's happening here. Now, with the outcome being the sun card here, Aquarius, I, I don't know. I was thinking, like, what, what's to clarify, what's to advise... The only advice would be like, holy shit, yes, it, you really did. It's real. You really hit the jackpot. And oh my God, are you going to both be happy? This is the outcome of your relationship here. And again, you know, best card in the deck, uh, 78 cards. And that happens to be the outcome of your heart spread coming above <laughs> Aquarius card, your own card, you know, uh, as spirits uh, suggestion. Uh, for what's best for the relationship as a whole, and that's you. So uh, the only thing, too, I would add is, like, this, the reason why this empress is reacting this way to you, the emperor and the empress, you know, they have everything but love, <laughs> and that's what you're bringing them. There's a lot of cups here, and there's a lot of passion here. You're bringing it to them. And so don't uh, be advised. You very much are bringing something to the table here that means a lot to them and means everything to them. It means love. So this is a thank you, Spirit, again. Very positive reading. I hope you like it. Do smash the like button. It'll really help me get, a, get this out here a little better than it's been doing. And uh, make a comment. Appreciate it. Uh, and do, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. 
Tell friend, tell friend. Thank you, Aquarius. Congratulations. 